नमस्ते गर्ल्स इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ अ लाइन लेट अस रिकॉल व्हाट ऑल वी हैव लर्न वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन एंड वर्टिकल लाइन मींस फॉर हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन विल बी y equals to plus minus a फॉर वर्टिकल लाइन इक्वेशन विल बी x equals to plus minus b we have learned about point slope form it can be y2 minus y1 equals to m into x2 minus x1 we learned about two point form slope intercept form intercept form and normal form now in today's lecture let us do some examples related to all these equations of the line first example i have taken where they are saying find the equations of the lines parallel to the axis one line parallel to x axis and other to y axis and the lines are passing through the point minus 2 and 3 so if we mark point minus 2 and 3 it will mark here if we draw lines one line can pass from 3 this line will be parallel to x axis and having a distance of 3 unit so what will be the equation of this line which is having a distance of 3 unit from the x axis now as the value of y is positive so the equation of the line will be y equals to 3 if we draw a second line which will be parallel to y axis it will be having a distance of 2 unit but as the value of x is minus 2 so equation of the line parallel to y axis will be equal to x equals to minus 2 so y equals to 3 is parallel to x axis and x equals to minus 2 is the equation of the line parallel to y axis so we have obtained equations of the lines parallel to the axis passing through the point minus 2 and 3 second example we have to find the equation of the line passing through the point 2 and minus 4 and its slope minus 5 so what is given to us we are given slope and is given and point 2 and minus 4 is given So we are given slope and point. So we'll be using point slope form. That we have learned. We have written as y minus y one equals to m x minus x one. This we have learned. Point slope form. Y minus y one. Y one is minus four. So it will become y minus minus four is equal to m. Is given to be minus five. X minus two. So y plus four equals to minus five x plus ten. So shifting the terms. Five x plus y is equal to six. So 5x plus y equals 6. We have got the equation of the line passing through the given points and having slope as minus 5. Example number three. They are are saying find the equation of the line passing through the given points 1 minus 1 and 3 5. What is given to us? Two points are given to us. So we have to form the equation of the line passing through two given points. We will be using two point form. x1 y1 and the other one let us take it as x2 y2 now using two point form two point form we have learned it can be written as y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 y 
minus y1. We become plus 1 equals to y2 minus y1. So 5 minus minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 x minus x1 is 1. So what we have obtained? y plus 1 is equal to minus minus this. So 6 upon 2 with x minus 1. So here we got 3. So y plus 1 equals to 3 x minus 1. So that means y plus 1 equals to 3x minus 3. So shifting these terms to this side, we'll be having 3x minus y minus 4 equals to 0. So this is equation of the line passing through two given points. Example number 4. They have given us two cases. First case when tan theta equals to half and y intercept is minus 3 by 2. And second case, again tan theta is half, but here x intercept is given. So let us do first case. In first case, what is given to us? Slope is given. Tan theta means slope. So m is given to be half. And y intercept. Y intercept I have told you it is c. Minus 3 by 2. So what is given? Slope and intercept are given. So we will be using slope intercept form and in case of slope intercept the case when y intercept is given. So equation used will be y equals to mx plus c y equals to in place of m half will come x in place of c 3 by 2 will come. So taking LCM we will be getting y is equal to x minus 3 or we can write x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 or we can write minus x plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. This is equation for first case. Now second case what is given? Again tan theta is half means m equals to half is given. But here x intercept is given, means d is given. So in case x intercept, I have told you, the equation will be y equals to m x minus d. So equation will be y equals to, in place of m, half will come, x minus d, in place of d, 4 will come, because x intercept is given. So y shifting this two to this side, 2y x minus 4 and shifting this two to 2y to this side, we'll be having x minus 2y minus 4 equals 0, or we can write this minus x plus 2y plus 4 equals to 0. So we have obtained the two equations. When intercepts were different, first case y intercept was given and second case x intercept was given, but slope was same for both the cases. Next example that I have taken, here they have given us that write the equation of the line having intercepts as minus 3 and 2. x intercept is given minus 3 and y intercept is given 2. That means what is given? A is given minus 3 and B is given Intercepts are given and we have to write the equation. Means we have will be using intercept form. So using intercept form. That was x upon a plus y upon b equals 1. x a is minus 3. Minus 3 plus y upon 2 equal to 1. So we will be shifting this minus sign here. So minus x upon 3, y upon 2 equals to 1. Taking LCM, we will be having 
minus 2x plus 3y and 3 to the 6 will be shifted here. So we will be having minus 2x plus 3y equal to 6, shifting 6 to this side. We will be getting minus 2x plus 3y minus 6 or we can write it as taking minus common, we will be getting 2x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the line which was having intercepts minus 3 and 2. Write the equation of the line whose perpendicular distance from the origin is 4 unit and angle of inclination that this line is making with positive x axis is 15 degree. What is given? Perpendicular distance means P is given. Four unit. Angle of inclination is 15 degree means theta is given. So here they are talking about perpendicular and angle of inclination means we will be using normal form. And normal form we have learnt. It is x cos theta plus y sin theta equals to p. Means we have to obtain cos theta and sin theta. Let us do it. Cos theta means cos 15 degree. So straight away we can't tell the value of cos 15 degree. We will have to find it. Now 15 degree can be written as 45 minus 30. Using the formula cos A minus B. This is cos learn the formula cos A minus B. This is equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. We'll be having cos 45 into cos 30 plus sin 45 into sin 30. Now cos 45 means 1 upon root 2 cos 30 root 3 by 2 plus sin 45 is also 1 over root 2 and sin 30 is now taking LCM we will be having root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root. So this we have obtained value of cos 15 degree. Same way we will have to obtain value of sin 15 degree. Again 15 degree will be written as 45 minus 30. Formula for sine A minus B. This will be sine A cos B plus cos A sine. This formula you have to learn. Sine A. Sine 45 cos B. Cos 30. Minus cos forty five and sine sine forty five again one over root two putting the values one over root two cos thirty root three by two cos forty five one over root two sine thirty up. So here we have obtained the value as root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2. Sine 15 degree will come. Root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2. 3 minus 3 root 2. Now this is normal form. x cos theta plus y sin theta equals to p. If we put the value of p as 4, cos 15 degree, root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 
and sin 15 degree as root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 in this equation 1. Put P equals to 4 equation 2 and 3 in 1. We will be having x root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 plus y with sine 15 that is root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 and p as 4. So x root 3 plus 1 3 minus 1 with y and this 2 root 2 will shift it to this side. So 4 into 2 root 2 become 8 root 2. So this is the equation of the line. Example number 7. Here they have given us a relation between Fahrenheit temperature F and absolute temperature K in the form of a linear equation. They are telling us to express K in terms of f and also they are saying if k is 0 then what will be the value of f taking Fahrenheit on x-axis and absolute temperature on y-axis a linear equation is given if f is 32 then k is 273 in case f is 212 then k is 373 we have to form an equation using these two points means we can use two point form that will be x1, y1, x2, y2 and this can be x and y. So, two point form according to which y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 x minus x1. On y axis Absolute temperature is there. That means K. K minus Y1. 273 minus equals to Y2 minus Y1. 373 minus 273. 100. X2 minus X1. 212 minus 32. 180. On X axis we have taken F. So in case of X, F. Minus x1 is 32. Cutting 100 and 180, we got 5.9. So k in terms of f, 5.9 into f minus 32. This minus 273 will become plus 273. So this is the required equation uh, explaining k in terms of f. Further we said if k is 0, what will be the value of f? So put k equals to 0 in equation 1. 0 equals to 5 by 9 f minus 32 plus 273. Shifting this side will be minus 273 into 9 upon 5 f minus 32. So, 273 into 9 2457 divided by 5 that will be 5 goes are 20 then 5 nines are 45 then 5 ones are and 4. So we'll be having minus 491.4 is equal to f minus 32. Minus 32 will come this side, become plus. So minus 491.4 plus 32 equals to f. So negative and positive subtraction will be there. So we obtained f as 
minus 459.4 degree when A is 